Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Explorations in Animal and Plant Anatomy and Physiology online course at RIT. I want to spend a few moments introducing you to our course and the requirements for the course. I'm Dr. Conley, and I will be with you along your entire journey this semester. Welcome. Let's start on your My Courses page. You'll see an announcement section, pretty standard layout for your My Courses, I think, for most of your classes. I will post all announcements that you need here. I tend not to email the class because emails get lost. Here you have a running log of everything that has been important in the class thus far that you needed to remember. So you should read through this and, and get a sense of, of what you'll be responsible for. It links out to assessment and grading, activities and so on that you can find on your My Courses page. It reminds you of upcoming things. I will remind you of things that are due weekly and so on in this space. You'll see on the top corner my contact information. Email is by far the best way to get a hold of me. And then you'll see a Pearson, Pearson's My Lab and Mastering tab that we're going to click on in a little while and show you the homework and study resources that you have for this course. This is a subscription. It costs you about $65 for a, for a full calendar year access to this material. I do use this same system for both online explorations animal and phys and I also use it for online exploration cell biology if you plan on taking that in the future. Let's go to your schedule so you can see what's coming up. You'll see that the first module gets us through animal anatomy, respiration, blood and circulation and then we have two homeworks associated with that and your first exam will be due February 7th online. It moves very quickly. It's structured this way so that you are not getting behind and overwhelmed in the materials and rather breaks it up into sections that are a little more manageable for you. Also on here you'll see you have a video assignment that is due to me by March 5th and you have one again that is due on May 14th. This is, con I consider, your midterm and your final. These will be comprehensive topics to get you compiling information and thinking about a multitude of different aspects of the course and putting it together into an applied situation or scenario. More details on that to come. There is no final exam. Exam 5 on May 9th is your last term exam. The final video, video 2 due May 14th is what I consider your final for the class, just so you know for your planning purposes. Let's go to content. This runs you through your syllabus, gives you all the course information, my contact information again, that course schedule we just looked at, course requirements and resources. The textbook is not required for this course. I recommend it if you are a person who likes to read. You can get an e-version of the textbook or an electronic version with the purchase of mastering for the homework. I believe it adds about $30 to the cost to do that, but it might be something that is useful to you. If you are on RET's Henrietta campus, there are books on reserve in the library as well. You must have online access. It's an online course. I hope that's a given for you. So online access primarily to my courses and then linking through to the Mastering Biology. You need to be able to create a video. This is not Hollywood, folks, okay? Your video camera on your computer, on a webcam, your phone is okay as long as you have something to put it on and I'm not getting motion sick, okay? More details of that in the video assignments that you'll see in a little bit here. The activities and assignments in general, homeworks due on Thursdays. You will have discussions for this course. You have four of them. They will be on Fridays um, when they are due as there are only four of them. They're spaced out and I'll show you those in just a moment. And then videos when they are due are due on Sunday, but that's only on two occasions. The readings is up to you how much you need to do in addition to the online videos that I provide for you. You'll complete 10 homeworks for this course, as you saw on that calendar in the beginning announcements. If you go and look at that, it gives you kind of the basic outline of how things will go. Exams are all short answer online. 
they I will give them to you on a on a 36 hour window so they would start at 12 p.m. noon Monday and you must submit it by 11:59 p.m midnight on the Tuesday during exam weeks. So your first one is due February 7th, meaning Monday, February 6th. It would open at 12 p.m. and then you must it must start and complete it by 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday. You will only have 90 minutes to take the exam once you start it. Please make sure you have a good internet connection and you can get that done. I don't expect them to take you 90 minutes, more like 60 minutes probably, but just to give you a window. I gave you some suggestions for where you can look for good study questions for the exam as they are all essay, okay? Video assignments, as I mentioned, and then grading. Grading, I get done fairly quickly for your class. If you ever, ever have any questions on missing a grade item or something, just contact me. Talk to you here a little bit about grading of the activities again, rubrics where, where needed like for your discussions I have those posted for you and then your breakdown of your grade your term exams 45 percent I do drop one so you'll take five and I drop one mastering homeworks you have ten I will drop two of those you have video assignment number one due at that midterm point about March 15th or pardon March 5 and then video assignment two final exam due May 14th and then four of your online discussions your online discussions are your participation in this course. This is a plus minus graded course, so I give you the breakdown of how that is um, outlined for this course, and then your, uh, your opportunities for feedback to me. I give you the policies for the course as far as accommodations, academic integrity, and so on, and then ideas along the lines of what we would do as far as any emergencies, we occasionally do have snow days. Those don't really affect our online classes, though. Exam policy, assignment policy, and my email policy along the bottom. So you can check those out at your leisure. Video assignments. This is the general outline for your video assignment. It's a five to seven minute video. You must submit an outline with references, how I break out your grade and then the point scale generally to go along with that. I will give you the rubric sheet that I use for grading your videos in advance of your first one being due. I give you a couple of comments for quality. Again, not Hollywood, but if I can't see you, I can't hear you, or I cannot see your hands if you are doing, um, if you're providing your video in ASL, I can't grade you, right? Okay, so make sure that's all well done. Um, I, if you're speaking, I need to be able to hear you clearly and preferably not with background noise, at TV on, radio on, so on. Okay. Please do shoot your video in landscape mode sideways, not straight up and down. It's much easier for me to see you and follow along with anything that you're showing me, such as experimental data and so on. This is the discussion rubric in case you are interested in seeing how your points will be assigned um, on that. You do have to, for our discussions, let's go there now. I do have one for your questions about the course. Okay. Study strategies. If any of you have taken an online class or taken a class with me and have ideas for how to study for the exam, folks I'm sure are very interested in hearing that. If you have a vote on whether or not virtual office hours are important to you, please let me know. This um, varies from semester to semester with class, um, with the class um, individuals, so I want to check with you guys. Day one, introduce yourself, just so we know where you're coming from. I will do the same and post you an example of that. Your first discussion, okay, will be due Friday, February 3rd, so that's week two. This is quick, quick, okay? And it talks about athletic training. So this is open for you. You can go ahead in and start your discussion post about this. I give you a little bit of information. Um, for this first one, you will be able to see uh, each other's posts before you post, but in the future, you must post first. You must post by Wednesday, February 1st, 
finish a response post to one of your peers by Friday, February 3rd, okay? And I have that information here for you, all right? So that's after your first homework, that's your first um, assignment due for the course. The first couple of weeks are busy to make sure you're staying on track with things, okay? Let's go back to content for a minute. So that ran us through the syllabus. Module one is where we begin. I give you the chapters if you, if you choose to read in the textbook um, and what's going on for that section of the course. Remember this takes us through exam one, which is Tuesday, due by Tuesday, February 7th. The intro to anatomy video pages shows you the first videos. So if you're in YouTube, and you search for RIT Gen Bio all together, you'll find my YouTube channel. I recommend using playlists as my YouTube channel includes videos for more than just this class. And what you'll be looking for are the anatomy based videos. So if you're in my courses again, it tells you the videos for the playlist are the anatomy playlist for this first section. So you look for our anatomy playlist. There it is, it's totally missing it. And you could go in here and watch them through YouTube if you wanted to do that. When you're watching the videos, I'm gonna show you here what it would look like this is captioning only, so you can turn on all of these are closed captioned. But if you select the videos that say, instead of CC only, say with interpreter, you'll see that our interpreter is in the lower corner for these videos. So depending on your needs, you can determine which video style you like the best. In my courses, they will all be with the interpreter and closed captioning. When you start these, you may need to turn on the captioning if it's not already on in the window. That's just this button, okay? So for every module, you'll see the chapters that we're going through with the videos, the videos that go along with them. You see there are several, they're shorter videos most of the time typically less than 10 minutes. And then at the bottom, these are all questions you should be able to answer after you watch these videos, okay? So for module one, the first exam, you're gonna wanna watch the video pages for chapter 20, 22, and 23. I do give you outlines. Some of you may like to have the text while you're watching the videos to take notes on. This is the basic outlines from my videos. You could, watch, you could use those to take notes if you like. And then at the bottom, I'll have review materials for each module. In this case, a Latin root word list that might be useful to some of you, and then the review figures. So these are all of the figures that I would consider to be important for your exam. Things that you might wanna go back and make sure you're comfortable with. Your exams are to be closed notes and closed book. So by that, um, these are things that you'll want to have, at least in general, committed to memory more or less so based on what you see in the videos, okay? So there's a module for each exam, one, two, three, four, and five. We don't do a video assignment until module, the beginning of a module three. So here you'll see video assignment due one, due March 5th, and if you click on that, it'll actually talk to you about your video assignment, which is about animal movement, okay? So the other big thing that we need to talk about is mastering. So if you click into My Lab and Mastering and allow pop-ups, you'll come in and you'll have the student links. Sorry, you don't get the instructor links. The student links, and when you first come in, it's going to ask you to register and create an account. When you do that, it's going to ask you to pay. You can do a 14-day free trial, so do not wait. If you are waiting for financial aid to come through, 
please come in and start the free trial so you don't get behind in your homework, okay? When you get registered and all set up, there is no course ID. You must come through my courses like we just did. Click this Pearson tab and then go into the Pearson straight through my courses. It links you in. There is no course ID. I can't give you one because one does not exist. Okay, so you must do it this way. When you come in, we're using modified mastering, meaning it runs through my courses. You'll see mastering assignments. And again, you may have to allow some pop-ups depending on your browser. When you go in, you see your first homework is due on January 26th. Right now it says unavailable to you, but it will be available by the time you get into this. So when you come in, let me show you here. So it's going to look like this. You come into the first item, it's going to ask you several questions. This one is going to ask you to drag and drop things into a table. Okay. So you're going to have to make sure your browser is up to date and all of your plugins are up to date. Otherwise, it's not going to work for you. Okay. So these drag and drop particularly are a problem for students that don't update their browsers. So there are several questions. There are 11 questions in this homework set. The length of the homework varies. Okay. This first homework is only on, is only on chapter 20 as it says, but the second homework due February 2nd is on chapters 22 and 23. So when we're covering two, home, two chapters in a homework, the homeworks will be longer. They are untimed. You get two chances to get every question right. So please work at these so that you're comfortable with the material. If you score greater than a 90% on the homework, the follow-up is optional. If you score less than a 90% on the homework, you will be asked to complete the follow-up assignment that's due 24 hours after the assignment due date. Now, the follow-ups are bonus on your homework. You can choose to do them or not. If you don't, if you score the 90% or greater, you automatically get the points. If you score below a 90% and do the follow-up, you'll get the points. If you score less than a 90% on the homework and do not do the follow-up, you just don't get the bonus points. That is totally up to you and your schedule, okay? The practice assignments are sort of the same, except these are just basic multiple choice questions, okay? Um, so like this first one gives you a figure and says which part of the figure above shows a complete organ system. So hopefully by the time you get everything around to understanding what is going on with our, with our um, anatomy, basic anatomy that we start with, you'll be able to answer this question. These are sort of practice quizzes for you. So you can see if you really do know what you think you know. You'll also see orange assignments. Okay, so this is actually available now. These are available all the time. Um, these are what we call study modules. And in the study, in the study modules, it is going to ask you, the blank is a structure specialized for diffusion of gases and nutrients between the blood of the mother and the fetus. I don't know yet is an acceptable answer. If you start these now, you may not know yet. Okay, um, but you'll see when you click, it's going to ask you, how sure are you? If you're unsure, you we're going to click the click once. Okay, so maybe we think it's the placenta. I'm not totally sure. Well, maybe I am sure. Maybe I'm totally sure that's the placenta. If I click again, it's going to say, okay, you're totally sure. If you change your mind, you could click unsure here. You could click unsure here. Maybe you think it could be the uterus. Maybe. And we hit submit. So it's going to tell me I was unsure, but one of my answers is correct. All right. So this is going to help you build through your knowledge a little bit. Again, these are optional study materials for you. You can choose them or not, choose to do them or not based on your schedule, your time for the week, what you feel as far as the materials, if you're comfortable or not. Okay. The other thing in Pearson, if you 
choose to purchase the e-text, you get to that through the e-text button. If you do not purchase an e-text, it won't be there for you. Okay. Um, so this will load in and it looks just like an electronic textbook. You can search, which I think is a very nice feature. Um, if you're missing some particular keyword that you want to look up. And then you just flip through it like a, like a normal textbook. We start, let's see, unit five actually in our textbook, animal form and function. So these are the first chapter 20, the first things that we talk about in the class, okay? The last thing in Pearson is the study area. This is a very important area for you to, to navigate through and get to know. An annoying feature, you have to go up and select the chapter you want. So chapter 20 is where we're starting. And you must hit go, otherwise it sits here. And when you hit go, it gives you a practice test. It gives you some key concepts. And it gives you ways to extend your learning, guided reading activities, and so on to help you study. These may be useful to you, different activities and so on. Some students really enjoy these BioFlix. If you click over here on the side, BioFlix. So there aren't any for Chapter 20, but Chapter 22 is also on our first test. And you go to Gas Exchange. And it will actually run you through an animation about Gas Exchange. It will give you, if you want, if you want a study sheet, sorry about that, it's being picky today. It'll give you a study sheet that you can click into. There's a link at the bottom to click into a study sheet to help you remember um, and practice for the exams. Now, this is a lot of review stuff, right? And I certainly don't expect that you're going to do all of it. And for many of you, you probably won't do any of it. But that is totally up to you and what you think you need based on the videos after you've gone through the videos. So after you've gone through video page for chapter 20, what other information do you think you need? What else do you need to review? My exams are based almost entirely on just my videos. Okay, and your application of that knowledge. So for some of you, this will be enough. Remember, I drop one exam, so maybe you try one study technique the first time. If you don't like the results, meaning you don't like your first exam score, then try something else. Or talk to me, talk to others in the class on the discussion Q&A, and figure out what you want to do differently to help you succeed in this course. Okay? So I know that was a lot of information. You're going to have to spend a little time going through on your own and navigating and making sure you can find everything that you need. As always, please email me if you have questions. I'm happy to help anytime I can to get you through the materials and to make sure that you're comfortable with what's going on in the course. Okay? So don't forget, week one, the week of January 23rd, we're going to have a homework due. Week two, we have a homework due, we have a discussion due, and week three, we're going to have an exam. So the first couple of weeks really get you moving. you got to get up and going quick, okay? I can't wait to get to know you in the course, and as always, email me with anything that you need, okay? Have a great day.